Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a massive makeup haul. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the products that I got at this Gen Beauty that I went to this weekend. And there is so many products in front of me and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I'll also be sharing a little bit about my experience at Generation Beauty. So if you guys are ready to see today's video, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> yesterday from Generation Beauty New York. I was there. I got there Friday morning and I just left on Monday. So today is Tuesday and I'm filming a massive haul on all of the products that I got this weekend. If you guys don't know what Generation Beauty is, it is basically a giant makeup convention that Ipsy puts on where there are a bunch of different makeup brands. There are also a ton of content creators there and I love going because I get to connect with a lot of my friends who are fellow influencers and it's really fun to just like put faces to the names of people that you've, you know, been following a long time or friends that you've had in the community. I know I got to hang out with a ton of friends this weekend that I have um, known for a long time or watched a long time and actually got to hang out with them. And it was really fun. I had a lot of fun. I hung out most of the weekend with Samantha March and Ashley Clady and both of them made the weekend so much fun. It was really just such a Fun experience. This was my fourth generation beauty that I've attended and I felt like this one for some reason just felt different. I felt very, um, I don't know how else to explain it, but I just felt leaving like so, so inspired and I got to meet some of you guys and it was just such a humbling experience to be there and it was just really, really fun. I really enjoyed it and everyone who I got to meet was so sweet and there was a ton of my other creator friends that I got to meet and it was just a really fun experience. I got to meet so many brands and it was just really, really fun. So if you guys have never been to one, I highly recommend attending one. They are definitely a ton, a ton of fun. Not just as a creator, you can also attend and you can get a ton of freebies from brands and then you can also get to meet some of your favorite creators as well. So it's just a really fun event. So I'm going to go ahead without further ado and start with the haul because I could go on all day about the weekend and how much fun I had. But let's start and get into some of the makeup that I got. So when I got home, I actually ended up taking everything out and I put it onto my island in my kitchen and I kind of just separated everything into different categories. I figured that would be my easiest way to show you guys everything I got without making it so like pulling everything out randomly just to kind of make it go a little faster so this video wasn't 100 years long. So I'm going to first start with some of like the brushes and the sets that I got and then I'll move on to like hair products, skincare, and all the different products from all the different brands that I got. So one of my favorite brush companies was there Moda brushes you guys know I talk about these a ton on my channel and I got a ton of different brush sets so I actually got this magic sponge set and this has four different sponges in it I actually didn't even I wasn't aware that Moda had sponges so I'm really excited to try these out they also gave me a bunch of different brush sets so we have this first one right here I have this next one here there are so many in here I literally was so excited we have the prismatic collection which is one of my favorites of theirs I love these brushes and also in here I have some of their metallics which are also another one of my favorites from them a lot of these I'm gonna be putting in giveaways for you guys because I do already own a lot of these sets if you guys um, do not know I am an affiliate with Moda brushes as well you can use my code makeup Molly if you ever want to try out any of their brush sets they're so so good so definitely recommend checking them out they also gave me their mythical this is their brand new frozen kit look at how cute these are they're just like frozen brushes I love their brush sets because they're so pretty and fun, but they're also very, very nice quality. They're very soft. They're also super easy to work with. I love, love, love their brushes. Another brush brand that was there that I really like is Luxie as well, and they gave us this detailed face brush set. And then I have this sponge here I got from Pure. A lot of these things, like a lot of the products that I got, if you actually go and stand in line, some of the brands will give you like sample size products and full size products. And then also as a creator, I received a giant um, bag at the creator day where I received a lot of full size products. And then also you get an attendee bag. So a lot of the products are from there. And then some of the brands gave um, creators some other items as well. So everything is kind of just a mashup of everything. Also, I went to a dinner um, by Julia Salvia on a Saturday night, and I also got a goodie bag from her dinner, so some of the products are from there. So I got this Glow Light Brush. This is from um, Tattoo Junkie. I've actually never tried anything from them, and I got a few products of theirs from Julia's dinner. And then we have this brush here from Luxie. 
Next I have this set from Nomad and this is the Stockholm set. So it looks like inside of here there is a brush, a highlighter, a blush, and then some eyeshadow colors. So here's what that set looks like. And then basically what's left in this bag is a ton of different mascaras. So I have a bunch of mascaras from CoverGirl. This is their Lash Blast and then their Flourish Mascara. I don't know why I got so many of these, but I literally have a ton of them. And then I also got some from Maybelline. Here's another CoverGirl one. I have one from The Balm, their Scuba Mascara. I have one from Pure. I have one from Koki Cosmetics. Um, I have another one here. This one's from The Cream Shop. There are so many mascaras. Uh, Buxom Mascara. And then I have one from NYX. I have another one from Koki. And then the last few, I have one from Doll 10. You guys, I was so excited to meet my girls from Doll 10 at the, um, I met them at Julia's dinner. And it was so nice meeting them. They were so sweet in person. Um, and then the last mascara I have here is from Dolce, Dolce, I believe is how you pronounce it. So I have a ton of mascaras, and I already have a very, very large mascara uh, collection, so a lot of those will also go in the future giveaway. So stay tuned on my channel because I'm going to be doing tons of giveaways. I have my holiday giveaway I'm planning that's going to go live next month, and it is massive. I've been purchasing a bunch of stuff for it. I've been setting aside a bunch of stuff for it. I'm also excited to be setting aside a bunch of stuff that I got from Gen Beauty for the holiday giveaway and for future giveaways as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those. And if you are unaware, I do have a huge 100K giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. I only have a couple days left to enter that. And there's a ton of massive prizes. So if you're looking for a giveaway, you can head over to my Instagram as well. I got to meet my friends at Double Dare and they gave me this OMG pulling and peeling kit. So here's what it looks like. It's like a giant, giant box. And inside, let me show you guys the inside of this. It has their peeling gel and then also their, so they have a lemon peeling gel and then a strawberry version. And then one of their cute little masks. This is like a holiday kit they're gonna be offering. I love both of these products, and of course, I love, love, love their headbands. So this is like a really good set. I also received so many sheet masks this weekend. Like this bag is literally full of sheet masks, like sheet mask city. So I have a bunch in here from Soe. I have some from Innisfree. Um, I have some from Joa in here, a bunch of different companies. I don't really want to go through all of these because that would take forever. I have some from Wonder, uh, but definitely like so many sheet masks, you guys. Like, there's so many and my skin is going to be so happy and I'm also glad because I can include a bunch of those in giveaways for you guys as well. So next I'm going to move on to lipsticks. I filled this entire bag with just lipsticks that I got this weekend. So the first one is from Absolute. This is a Glimmer Lip Spank, Spark, <laughs> Glimmer Lip Spark from them. Next I have from Pop Beauty. This is one of their permanent pouts. I absolutely love these. This one is in the shade Basic B. So I'll be putting that in a giveaway because I already own it. I also have this one again from Absolute. This is one of their Glimmer Lip Sparks again, and this one is in Sunstone. I also have from Dirty Little Secrets, one of the liquid lipsticks in Bare. This is a really, really good shade from them. From Grande, I got this nice little set. So this is their Hydrating Lip Pumpers, and this is a Fall in Love set. Isn't this cute? It has some vampy, deeper shades that I can use for fall. And then we have a Tinted Brilliance Balm from Pixi. And then from Ofra, we have a long-lasting liquid lipstick. I'm not sure what shade this is. I don't see a name on here. I'm going to go through and make sure I don't own this one. And then next from, this one is from Smith & Colt. This is the Shining Lip Lacquer. I also have from Dirty Little Secrets. This one is in Foreplay, a lipstick there. I also have another one from Dirty Little Secrets, Don't Touch. And then we have a couple here. I have an IBY Velver, Velvet Liquid Lip. This one is in Naked. And then I also have from Laritzi a Lip Pencil. And then from Amrige, I have a bunch of these little liquid lipsticks. I actually own this little kit, and they're really, really good quality. So I'll definitely have uh, to put those in a giveaway for you guys because they're really, really nice. From Tipsy, this is their Lip Crush Lip Oil, and it's cute because it has, like, all these little candies in it with it. Isn't that fun? And then I also have, this is from Be Beauty by Bria. 
And this is a matte liquid lipstick, and this one is in Aurora. I'm not gonna open all these because again, this video would be so long. I kinda wanna just share like the items that I got. This one is from MAC. This is a lip intensity lipstick, and this one is in Double Fudge. From Joa, I have a I'm Your Jelly Bay. This is a matte gel lipstick. It's just like a little mini guy in there. We have this little lip duo here from MAC. This has a lip uh, pencil in here, and then also a matte lipstick. And then we have from Grande, this is one of their plumping lip primers. I've actually never tried their lip primer, so I'll have to try this one out. I'm really excited about this one. This is from Sol Janeiro, and this is their Brazilian Kiss. It's like a lip balm, and it smells just like their Bum Bum Cream, which is such a good smell. From Physicians Formula, I have one of their Healthy Lips. This one is in All Natural Nude, which is one of my favorite shades from this lip line. And then we also have from Pixie. This is one of their Multi Balm Cheek and Lip. This is a tint. This one is in Sheer Sculpt. So it looks like you could actually use that one as like a cream contour would be really nice. And then we have another, another permanent pout from Pop Beauty. This one is in Pale Baby, which is like a nice peach color. And then I have one from NYX. This is one of their Slip Tees. This one is in Strawberry Whip. And then I also have, again, from NYX, one of their lip lingeries, and this one is in French Made. This cute little mini lip set, this one is from Tattoo Junkie again, and it has a bunch of different lips in there, so I'll have to give this one a try. I've never tried anything from them, like I said. From Tarte, we have one of their Tardis lip paints. This one is in Delish. And then we also have from Jouer, one of their long wear lip toppers. This one is in Champagne Gold. And then from IBY, we have another one of their liquid lipsticks. This one, again, is in the shade Naked. And then we have another permanent pout from Pop Beauty. This one is in Go Getter. I do own these, and I really, really like the formula of them. From Physicians Formula, we have another Healthy Lip. This one is in Nourishing Plum. Again, a really pretty color of that one. From NYX, we have a Lip Lingerie Gloss, and this one is in the shade Shy. I don't think I've tried the Lingerie Gloss before. From Colorful Girl, I have one of their Metallic uh, Exhibitionist, I believe these are called, lipsticks. And then I have from Mellow Cosmetics, this is the Ultra Matte Lipstick, and this one is in Electro. Ooh. That looks like it's gonna be a fun color. From Catrice, I have one of their Ultimate Color Lipsticks, and this one is in Hot and Spicy. And then from Tipsy, we have one of their Dash Lip Markers. I think I have a bunch of different colors of these, yes. So I have like four different colors of these. From Grande, I have a couple of their little hydrating lip primers, or their little plumpers. These are just like little mini guys of those. And then from Buxom, I have one of their lip liners. This one is in Undercover. And then I also have from Essence, this is one of their lip colors in Cool Nude. And then lastly, we have a Chromomatic um, Duo from NYX, and this one is in Day Club. So it's like an iridescent fun blue shade. So that was all of the lippies I got. So many different lip products. So next I'm gonna show you guys some of the lashes that I got. So I got a bunch of them from Ilure. The lady at Ilure was so sweet and she gave me a bunch of different lashes to try out. So we have this one here which is Easy Elegance, which looked really, really pretty. We also have the JB Lashes and then the Lady T Lashes as well. Love these. And then we also have a couple more. So we have the lengthening. This is the 080. Here are those. And then we have the Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes as well. And then we have these lashes from MGS. Here's what those look like. And then I also have these lashes by Jolie Lux. And I'm gonna slide these out so we can see. Here's what those lashes look like. So lots of different fun lashes to try out. I also got a couple different press on nails. So these are like the Impress nails. They're actually the same set, I believe. I used to use these like all the time. Love, love, love press on nails. I also have a couple different nail polishes. So I have two different nail polish shades from Essie. These are some of my favorite nail polishes. And then from Koki, we have this really pretty like bluish purple shade. So next I'm gonna show you guys all of the hair care products I got. So I got so many different hair care products. So first off, we got a couple things from Goody. So I have some different hair ties and then also some scrunchies from them. From Briogeo, we have the Don't Despair Deep Conditioning Mask. 
I'm excited. This is like a full size version of that. I'm definitely going to be trying that one out. From Aura Bay, we have the dry texturizing spray. So that sounds really, really nice as well. And then we have a couple of different products from Nexus. And these are actually like full size shampoos. So this is a full size conditioner and then also shampoo. And these are for damaged healing hair, which is something that I definitely, definitely need. So I was excited to get those. I don't think I've really tried much from Nexus. And then we also got this little um, mini conditioner as well from them. I also have from Mark Anthony, this is from their Bye Bye Frizz line. I actually just got sent this entire line. This is the leave-in conditioner. So I'll be able to put that in a giveaway for you guys. And then we also have this Not Your Mother's All Eyes On Me 10 in 1 Hair Perfector. So that'll be nice to try out. And then from Bubble and Bumble, we have the Bee Thickening Texture Spray. And then from Shea Moisture, I have the Daily Hydration Leave-In Hair Treatment. I think I've tried this one and I really, really like it. And then I was really excited to see Eva NYC there and they are coming out with a glitter spray. So this is about to release, I believe, from them. They gave me a couple of different bottles of that and I was seeing girls all over with this in their hair and it looked so, so fun. So I'll definitely have to do like an Instagram video with that. And then also from them, I have their Satin Dream Leave-In Cream. I've used this one before and I really, really like it. And then also from Bumble and Bumble, we have the Great Body Blowout Dry Cream. And then from OGX, we have the Argan Oil and Moroccan Dry Shampoo. I don't think I've tried this one, so I'm excited to try that. And then we also have the Coconut Miracle Oil Dry Shampoo as well from OGX. From Shea Moisture, I have a Daily, daily Hydration Shampoo. So just like a little mini guy of that. And then I also have, this is from Orabe. This is another dry texturizing spray. This is like a little mini of that. And then from Mark Anthony, we have their Hydrating Cocoa, Cocoa and Shea Butter. This is just like a little serum that we can put on. And then we have one last thing in here. This is from Briogeo. This is the Repetitive Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I think we got this in this month's BoxyCharm. Pretty sure this is the one that we got. So, so many different hair care products that I got this weekend. My hair is going to love all of this. All right, and then moving on, I have a bunch of items in here. So Ipsy was sweet enough to give us this nice little calendar. This is like a little planner, and it says create on the front, and it's just like a daily planner, and you can put it out and fill it out. I don't know if you can really tell, but it has all of the different um, months on here, so this will be cool to use. I actually don't have a planner, and it looks really, really nice, so this is super sweet of uh, Ipsy to do that for us. And then also from uh, Sol de Janeiro, I got a giant one of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is like the best lotion ever. It smells so, so good. And this is like the jumbo one of that. So that's awesome to get. From Vital Proteins, we have this uh, collagen. This is like a treatment that you can put into your water or I believe your juice or something. It's gonna help with skin, nail, skin and nail uh, support and also, also healthy joints and a youthful appearance. From Derma E, we have their Sun Protection Mineral Powder. I love using this, especially in the summertime. And then we have this hair perfume. This is from, I'm not sure who this is from, but it's like a hair perfume. Let me pull this out and see what this is. I don't really smell much of a scent to that, so I'll have to give it a try and see what that's like. And then also in here we have, this is from Poo Proof. And this is a natural essential oil. It says before you go toilet spray. Okay, that's interesting. And then we also have in here a couple of palettes. So we have the Meat Match Maker from The Balm. And I'm really excited because I want to try out these different palettes. They're the ones that have like the double-ended um, uh, eyeshadows in there. And I've heard those are really, really good. And then also from Beauty by Pop Sugar, we have an eyeshadow palette as well. This one is the Lady Jade Crystal Power Palette. I love their packaging. I just think it's so cute. And then what else do we have in here? From Catrice, I got this palette right here. This is the Ultimate Chrome Palette. And this one looks really, really nice. It looks like a duochrome palette. Catrice is an affordable brand that I've really been enjoying lately. From CoverGirl, we have the True Naked Days Palette. It's just like a fun pop of color. And then we have from that same brand, this is a Glitz Spray, so it's an on-the-go refillable sprayer. So you fill it with your favorite scent. I'm assuming that goes with the toiletry spray. 
And then from Sol de Janeiro, I was also, I didn't only really had a scent of the same scent of the Bum Bum Cream in like a spray. She sprayed this on us at the booth and I was like, this makes me so happy. So it's actually like a spray of that. I'm gonna use that all of the time. So I have a couple different eyeshadows from NYX in here as well. And then also from Pure, I have one of these like little mini glitters. I think they came out with these last holiday season if I remember correctly. And then from Koki, I have one of their duo metallic shadows. This looks like it's gonna be like a nice gold color. And then everything else in this box is part of this from um, Dulce. And this is actually like a little palette that they let us custom make at Creator Day. So I have in here a bunch of the eyeshadows and like the uh, highlighters and stuff that we can put into the palette. So I was able to like customize my own palette. So I won't pull those all out, but that is what is in there. And let's go ahead and start on another bag. So this next bag, again, has a bunch of random products in here. So we have this one from Pinky Swear. This is their Party Powders. So I think these are just like a bunch of either like a loose um, highlighting powders. It says you can put them on your lips and a bunch of different things. It came in like this cute little bag right here. So I'll have to try those out. And then I have in here from Koki, this is our Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray. I have another spray here from Pop Beauty. This is the 24, uh, 24K Face Base. And I love using this one. I have that one in my collection. From NYX, I have this Duo Chromatics. This is like an illuminating palette, so we have some really fun highlights in there. I also think you could use this as like eyeshadow colors. This color right here looks really pretty. From Absolute, we have the Skin Glow Halo. This is a loose powder, so like a loose highlight from them. From Tattoo Junkie, we have the Glow Light Unicorn Collection. So this is a highlighting palette from them. One of my favorite bronzers of all time, we have the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. We also have in here one of those highlighters from the Dulce brands. From Ilore, we have a brow palette. So this is just like a little palette that you can use to do your brows. From Catrice, we have the Prime and Fine Multi-Fixing Spray. This is like a little mini makeup setting spray. From Essence, we have the Glow On. This is like a really, really pretty little palette that has, looks like a bronzer I would use that as and maybe some eyeshadow colors. A highlight from Physicians Formula in Gold Rose. And then I have some eyeliners. We have one from CoverGirl, Pop Beauty, and then a few different ones from Essence. I have a couple of these. So these are from Yensa, and this is a color and face, and it says an essential glow. So this is actually a primer. So I have a couple of different ones of that. I have a few different highlights from Ofra. So the one is the all of the lights highlights. And then I also have the Everglow, which is the collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. I've already owned the Everglow. I have that in my collection, but I don't have the all of the lights. So I'm excited to try that one out. Also from Pop Beauty, we have one of their Prismatic Pops. This one is in Lunar Light. All right, from the Smashbox, we have the Photo Finish Primer, which is everyone's favorite primer from them. I also have a Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen from that Dulce brand. From Tipsy, we have the Brush Gel Liner. And then from Pop Beauty, we have the Eye Magnet Primer. So this is an eye primer from them. From the Cream Shop, we have this Creamy Gel Eyeliner. And then from Dolce, again, we have an ultra pre precision eyeliner. We have a couple of different um, brow products from Chella. So these are their tantalizing taupe eyebrow creams. I love these. I got them in a recent boxy charm. Really enjoyed those. From Laritzi, we have the Light Sticks Illuminating Pen. From Nomad, we have one of their little stock home. This is an iridescent light intensive eyeshadow. From The Balm, we have one of my favorite eyeliners ever. This is the Schwing uh, Liquid Liner. And then from Joa, we have the Glow Activation Radiance Primer. Look how nice, that looks like it has like little flecks of gold in there. And then from VDL, we have a Lumineer Primer. And then from The Balm, we have the Down Boy. This is a uh, blush. So we have a little blush from The Balm. They have the cutest packaging. And a couple more products in this bag. I have the Lumiere, again, Primer Fresh. This is from VDL. And then from Catrice, I have the Aqua Fresh Highlighting Eyeshadow. Ooh, this looks like it'll be pretty. This is in Luminous Sensation. 
So it looks like it's a little like chrome pot that we can use as a highlight or as an eyeshadow. All right, and then I'm gonna finish off this haul with all of these skincare products I got. So I got so, so many skincare products. I also had a couple other products that I did get that I left some uh, for my housekeeper at the hotel because I knew I wouldn't be able to fit everything in my bag and I always like to leave them there just so they have like a little surprise on the bed waiting. So the first thing here is from Innisfree. This is a must-have three mini set. So we have a couple of different products from In Is Free. From Pathology, which is one of my favorite skincare brands, we have the Wink Wink. These are the um, eye gels that you can use. I have a bunch of stuff from Soe. So we have the Revive Gold Peel Off Mask and then also the Purifying Brightening Peel Off Gel from them. A couple of more things from them. I have the Black Charcoal Peel Off Mask and then also the Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask from Soe. We got a little mask from Nug. This is the anti-aging skin boost mask. And then also from Belief, the Aqua Balm. This is the sleeping mask. Love this one from them. From Soe, I got the Refining Rose Petal Cleansing Oil. And I was so excited to get this from Kula. So we got the Pina Colada Sunscreen Spray. I love their sunscreens. They always smell so good. And they're super easy to apply. From Pure Lease, we have the Sugar Body Scrub. This is the coffee scrub from them. From Physicians Formula, we have the Charcoal Detox. This is the cleansing stick. We have this little guy. This is the Panda's Dream Rose Hyaluronic Face Cream. This is from Tony Moly. A couple more things here from Zoe. We have the Unicorn Glow Sleeping Mask. And this one is from Mad Skincare. This is a spot on targeted skin brightening serum. We have this whole little gift set from Pure Lease that has their Blue Lotus Cleansing Milk, another one of the coffee scrub, and then one of their watermelon sheet masks. And this little guy here, I believe this is the Blue Lotus uh, Mud Mask Exfoliant in there, like a little mini one. From Pathology, we have the Breakout Box, which I've been using a bunch. I highly recommend that for like spot treating your acne. We have a bunch of different things in here from Katz, I believe. And this is, so we have their face tinted. This is an SPF 40. So I have two different ones of that. And then I also have the Healthier Sunscreen from them. This is the Pure Botanicals and Minerals Sunscreen. And this is an SPF 45. And then from Innisfree, I have a couple of their Intensive Hydrating Serums. So I have two different ones of that. This is the um, one with green tea seed. From Bioderma, I got one of my favorites from them. This is the Essentable H2O um, Micellar Water. This is one of my favorites. It's the jumbo one too, which has me really excited. From Elemis, we have the Superfood Facial Oil. So this is a nourishing facial oil. From Kula, we have the Classic Sunscreen. This one is in white tea, and this is an SPF 50. And then from Juvi or Jovi, I have the Exfoliating Face Wash. This is in a lemongrass scent. From Soe, we have the Revitalizing Rose Petal Sleeping Mask. And then also the Rose Refining Hydra Collagen Cream. And then from Acne Free, we have the Witch Hazel Mattifying Shine Control Toner. And then also the oil-free acne cleanser from them, like a little mini of that. And then I just have a couple little minis here. So from Belief, we have an aqua balm like sleeping mask. This is just like a little mini of that. And then from Bioderma, I have the Hydro Gel. This is the gel cream. And then also a concentrate gel as well, like a little moisturizer. And then this is a moisturizer, a lavender moisturizer from the Javi brands. And that is it. I think I got through everything. There were so many products that I got this weekend. It's super overwhelming. I'm definitely gonna set aside, like I said, a ton of these products for giveaways for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for those. I wanna give a huge thank you to Ipsy and Ipsy OS for having me at Generation Beauty this weekend. I had the most incredible time and it was so lovely meeting so many of you guys at the event and also seeing a bunch of my fellow creators. I had uh, just such a great time and I'm so thankful to Ipsy for allowing me to attend um, these different conventions that they do. I think they're so, so much fun. So if you ever had the chance to check out a Generation Beauty, I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's just a great way to connect with a ton of different people, to see a bunch of different brands, try some new products. It's just a really fun event. But after that, that is going to do it for this humongous makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the products that I got this weekend. And of course, I will be, like I said, doing a ton of giveaways. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you guys go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, friends. <laughs>